Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, welcome back to Fallout 76, where today we're going to go ahead and go through the Tadpole Badge of Swimming. So if you don't know how to get to that, you go to the challenges right here, go down to World. And I've already done this, this is one of my three that I got to get, to get finished with Tadpole and get all the way up to Possum. So Swimmer is the one that we're going to do next. Now you have to swim, pass the Swimmer Knowledge Exam, you have to complete the Pioneer Scout Swimming Test at the Spruce Knob Lake. You have to revive another player while in the water. You have to take a camera picture of the Crocolossus Mountain at Wavy Willard's Water Park. And you have to take a camera picture of Slither Slide at Wavy Willard's Water Park. You also have to take a third picture of the Wavy Waves. Now, I didn't scroll all the way down, but that's down below. Don't forget to scroll down on these things as well. So if you guys don't know where we're at, we are just southwest of the Colonel Kelly Monument at the Pioneer Scout Camp. And what you're going to have to do to do your exam is you're going to go down here. And once you hit this kiosk... You're going to hang a left, go right through here, you're going to go into this building right here, and this is the Pioneer Scouts Knowledge Exam. You're going to go over here and you're going to actually take your exam at one of these two terminals, either this one here or this one here. Also guys, if you want all the exam answers, there's a link down below in the top of the description that gives all the answers in a Google Doc. I didn't create it, but I give credit to the person down in the description, so thank you guys for that. Truly appreciate it. It's been a huge help. You're going to want to make your way over to the Wavy Willard's Water Park, which is just northwest of where we're at right now. So I'm going to fast travel over there for six caps. Obviously, guys, you're going to need to have a camera. If you don't have a camera, look down at the top of my description, and I'm going to, have a, I'm going to link my video on how to get your camera. You're going to get a broken camera. You have to fix it. You have to find a tourist. I show you where to find it and how to do that. So I have a video I put out just earlier. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to link you to that. And that way you can make your camera before you start this quest, because that's very important. And also, a lot of these quests are asking you to actually take pictures, so you're going to want that camera. So I actually have my camera right here. We have to take a, a picture of Crocker Colossus Mountain, and you're going to notice, if you, if you point your camera at something, you hold down the right mouse button, it'll say if there's something that you're going to take a picture of that's named. Now, if you noticed, whenever you hold down the right mouse button, at the top right-hand side of the screen, you're going to see the name of... Uh, whatever you're pointing at if it's available to you for you to take the picture so, so if it's not ticking off of your to-do list then that's why you haven't quite got the you haven't quite got the right angle for the picture so I'm on the southeast side of the of the mountain here and I go like this and, I, and I'm showing it we can go ahead and we can just take a picture and there it is oh it looks like I had to change out my my film all right so that's the first one you're gonna want to get and then you also have to get the slither slide which is right here. So you can get them both right here at this point. Okay, you're also going to have to take a picture of wavy waves. You're going to go this way. You can go up and over this bridge right here. You're going to drop down and go over here. Go down these stairs. And hang a left right at the pot cotton candy popcorn shop. And this is wavy waves. So if you go just like this, and if you just... With the entrance to your right, if you just face this area right here, this is going to be wavy waves right here. Just stand right here. You can take that picture too. Next, guys, you're going to have to take your swimming test at Spruce Knob Lake. So we're going to have to go over there. It's cost 36 caps to get there, but I'll go ahead and spend it for you guys. All right, guys, once you spawn in, go ahead and head east until you get to the swimming area. We're going to have to go through here and go across this. Careful you don't get in the water. Don't go in that lake just yet. You don't go in the lake just yet because you got a big surprise in there for you. If you're not prepared for it, you're, you're going to be not happy. So just, just hang on a second. And you guys know this world is filled with all kinds of nasty, so be ready for that. You probably are already. There's another rad rat down here. I saw it. Where'd it go? There it is. Come here, rad rat. Oh, wow. You're a little tougher than I thought. Are you glowing? Okay, guys, once you're at this point right here, you're going to want to go ahead and go, and you're going to go around here, and you're going to go to these, these porta potties right here. Grab a swimsuit. You're going to need it. Oh, there's Grognik, Grognak and the Ruby Ruins. Oh, cool. I'll take it. All right, so grab your swimsuit. You're going to have to wear it. You're going to have to put your swimsuit on, guys. So just for the sake of giggles, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the swimsuit for this time. I already had one in my inventory. But look at this. Aren't I a pretty boy? Aren't I pretty boy? Okay, and right here, guys. Now, if you don't see this swimming test start right away, um, it didn't show up when I first showed up. You're going to just hang on for a second. It, it'll spawn in. Just give it a second. Now, you're going to start this, 
And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to all, there's five buoys. See, there's a buoy right there, that red one. There's a buoy right there. There's one over there. There's one around the corner over there, and there's one to the left there. And you have to go, and you have to touch all the buoys and then come back. But the thing is, it's within five minutes. You've got plenty of time. You've got five minutes to touch five buoys. That's a lot of time, right? Yeah, it's a lot of time um, if you're me and you're all mutated out if you're quick. Because I'll show you why. There's a Meyer Alert Queen in here, so you got to be careful because she's gonna she's gonna raise up out of that water, and you're gonna have to be really super quick. So what I would do once you start this thing, once you start this thing, I would go to the right, and I would catch this one first. I get this one, then I go over here and I get this one because she's over to the left there. So get this buoy. Oh, by the way, yeah, you got these guys too. These are the uh, the, the the blood rage mire lurks. I mean, the different types of mire lurks it'll change, but she should pop up here in a second. There she is. There's a third one. There she is, mire lurk queen guys. Now there's a fourth buoy right here. And then what I would do is I'd go back and I would get this buoy at the very last. So I got hit by one of the big Meyer lurks. I haven't gotten hit by the queen yet. We're right here. Jump over here. Come over here. Finish the quest. Okay? Then get the heck out of Dodge. Unless you can kill that Meyer lurk queen. We actually killed, killed her earlier. So anyway, guys. That's how, that's how you're going to do your swimming test. Oh, here we go. Hey, boys, what's up? Oh, my chess piece broke. What? What? That girl spits really far. The Marler Queen is super dangerous, so be very careful when you come over here. All right, guys, and so the last thing you're going to have to do, and this is going to be the most difficult for single players, is you're going to have to go and you're going to have to revive somebody in the water. You're going to have to revive another player while in the water. So the problem with that is if you're a single player, you don't have a partner to do that to. So there's my suggestion to you, and this is the suggestion that I read, was that if you are a single player, find like the sheep squatch event and then go to it and then wait for one of the players to fall into the water that's actually at the event. There's actually a pool of water. And so and this the sheep squatch is so powerful, it usually knocks people out like really super quick. Go in, revive somebody in the water that's been downed, and you'll get that last that you'll get that last requirement for your swimmer badge. If you have a partner, what my partner and I did is we went ahead and we went over to the WV Lumber Mill Company here where there's always a bunch of super mutants and we went off to the edge there and we and we kited a couple over the, to the edge of the water and then she just took a couple they, like they were just shooting her and then they reload they'd shoot her and then they reload and when, when she actually was downed she we I had enough time to revive her while she was in the water and then we would switch places and she did the same for me and then of course we just killed everything so that's how we got ours, and if you're a single player, that's how you should get yours. It's with the, with the Sheep Squatch. That's the only place I know of that you could do that, but it's not the only place, I'm sure. I'm sure there are, there are other events where other players will congregate in the water. Like, there was a Meyer Lurk event that was happening at the beginning of this video, and this is all around a bunch of water. So I'm sure if, if you can find somebody else that's been down in one of those events, you're going to be able to revive them. You're going to be able to get that, you're going to be able to get that requirement as well. Well, anyway, guys, that is everything you're going to need for the swimmer. I hope that that video was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate you. We will see you later. Bye-bye.